Alrighty, everybody, we are going to play City Skylines 2 today. We are going to start off with nothing. They give you 5,000. I don't know why it does that. I tried converting it. It should have converted it, but... Colors. Everything fixed. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and start. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this for like parks and residents and all that. So we'll continue with the road. Or double, so we'll just continue with the doubles. There we go. We'll try to keep the construction ever that way. So, we'll come over here, take this ramp. We need to curve a little bit. I don't know how you use the curve. So they can go right into the city. Does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, oh, that's pretty cool. It has ads. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. We got a ship in there, it looks like. Interesting. Okay, so that's going to be our industrial area. I'm going to go back over here, take these two lanes. Oh, I'll start from here, actually. Let's go out to here. Go through here. Okay, now let's go ahead and get some water ran into here. So we will put up a water treatment. Water comes in through here. And we'll dump the we'll dump the water over here.
Yeah, so those water pipes are connected over in that city. So now we need to go from here. Well, we need to draw a road to here. Shit, I forgot all about that. We'll save that for like electrical plants or something. Barriers connected. Alright, we got electricity flowing. So let's go ahead and start zoning. Okay. And we'll come over here. Oh my god, it's so dark. I mean, light can't see. Well, then it's all out to be in this industry. Alright, let's stop there. Do you guys have no water? No. <laughs> oh. Something happened here. All right, do we have water? Okay, why do we not have water? Everything has electricity. water available. But it's not flowing. Why is it not flowing?
God damn it, we put the wrong streets in. Oopsies. I'm just going to do one of these smaller suits. Okay, electricity, electricity is ran. Okay, now water is being ran. From there. And there, but somehow... Oh, whatever, as long as we have water running. Okay, but why don't we have sewage running? No. We'll do it this way. There we go. Oh god, look at all these abandoned places. I rent. be so high of a rent. <clears throat> I'd like to at least get some of that. I'll fast forward to time a little bit. That way maybe, just maybe they'll like, not want to pay that high of a rent. Let's take a look. Getting enough freaking electricity. Hey, they're just not happy with anything, are we? Now we should have a ton of fucking electricity coming through. Trying to keep the city away from that. Shh. Alright, let's try to buy some more area. That area. Then let's buy this area in this area. Remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. Oh, this has been a local public service announcement. 
This is Sacred Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as guides through a silent audio masterpiece. Now, sit listening at full volume, and our sounds are transported. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. The leader of the city services division is with us in the studio today to talk about why they're contracting with outside agencies to provide vital services for our residents. Isn't that going to be costly, Mr. Councilman? Oh, well, quite frankly, yes. It is an additional expense, but the residents have come to expect a certain level of services, and we simply do not have the capacity to provide them within the city. Sounds like we're the ones who will end up paying for it. Should we be worried? I expect the residents would be more distressed if key services became unavailable. Their quality of life is very important to them. But so is their money. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess that's the landfill. Oh, we can upgrade it. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and throw that on there. And we'll go ahead and throw that up there. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. Oh, we'll throw that right there. We'll get to another one. Can I upgrade this? No. Can I upgrade the hospital? Oh, I can. There you go. That way they oh, I can upgrade this. Go ahead and put that there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get more zoning in. Uh, go ahead and stick them there, stick them there. I'm gonna stick that there, stick them there, there. I like how the bar actually goes down when you actually place them instead of when they're being built. We're going to stick that there, that there. <clears throat> Alright, I think this is going good so far. It's been a bad game, actually. I like it. I missed you. I missed it. Workers, Jesus, okay. So let's go ahead and build another side where let's go ahead and take them from here to here to here. Oh, look at all that here in a minute. Oh, now I gotta redo that. To there.
Need to get all the space that we can for these homes. Uh -uh. Excuse me, where's the electricity? People make me so mad. How is there no water? Is it not like being transferred out that way? Oh no, it stops. Okay. I like that the wires are electrical or is built inside of it. That's pretty nice, so I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's get some windmills in here. Wind speeds are too low still. What are these? Okay, milestones in development. Oh, we can get education. Oh. What are these? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Cyclone, okay. College, electricity. Yeah, I want the electricity battery station. So this is must be how you unlock everything. Okay, so let's get over here real quick. Okay, so we can go here. Crematorium. We'll put out here. And then we'll stick another crematorium out this way. Oh no, they don't like that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take that out. We'll go ahead and set a hospital out here though.
Okay, we must be doing something right. Okay, where can we put the college at? Okay, college is gonna have to go somewhere. Okay, we don't have room for the college yet. I don't think we have schools over here, do we now? Yeah, we still don't have parks or anything, yeah. Oh, we got fire. Let's get them in here. Okay, let's get police put in here. Firehouse is upgraded. Okay, so we got four of these. Okay, so welfare office. Let's go ahead and get that unlocked. Well, we need to get those emergency tunnels unlocked. Let's go ahead and get some fire. Watchtowers. Okay, mm. so. Back with Second Moon Radio, your second All right, so now we need to put that town hall in. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia, land of art and culture. Quibon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbuck. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, Temper, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps, yes. It's easy to keep sure, sure, sure you have money. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction. Uh, and I'll put the city hall in. Thank you, Professor. There we go. Oh, we can put parks in. Commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. 
that's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after. Yeah. Okay, now we need to get more people in here, so... Let's go spend some more points. I need more people.
put a bus depot in. Looks like people are actually taking the buses already. Wouldn't they get this time to make some money? Alright, that should be good for now. Oh man, we are spending money. We lose money. To all citizens, increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Yeah. Uh, so we are gonna get uh, educated. They're gonna get taxed one percent. Industrial. Uh, we got furniture. Food doesn't get taxed. Furniture will be taxed. Commercial uh, furniture will be taxed. We need to make a little, little, little bit of money. We get 68000 from taxes. Services, 25000 Service trade. None. Government, we're getting 6000 We're spending a half a million dollars in this, guys. Come on. We're going to go bankrupt. Oh man, we are going bankrupt. Oh no. I mean, we're losing money fast. What do we need? We need more people. Do we not have enough? Man, this city should look into their healthcare. We are doing great at healthcare. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Ah, I had a cremation territory. Oh, we're broke. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna go broke. We got people leaving. I mean, they're happy. High rent. Well, you guys got. 
What is going on up here? Traffic jam. Uh, I ain't got money as I broke. Alright, well, that's where we're going to end this bankrupt city. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to change the name from to bankrupt city. If you guys liked the video, like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.